welcome. Also, that was my ukulele. Way to go, kid. Welcome to to a special series called Keep Calm and Mother On. This is brought to you by the Everyday Motherhood Podcast. My name is Christy Thomas. I am so excited to showcase and host all the tips that moms around the world have sent in to me through the SpeakPipe website. Thank you for showing that we're better together and that parenting is too serious to do alone. I firmly believe that you're the right mom for your kids and your kids are the right kids for you. We've got this. Let's go help each other because none of us have ever done this before. So let's keep calm and mother on. It's Wednesday, April 8th. I'm so glad you're here. My Wednesday tip is going to be the same every week. Lean into Wacky Wednesday. We need humor right now. Having stubborn gladness in this moment doesn't disgrace it. Have some humor intentionally every Wednesday. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but I'm going to try my hardest to laugh every hour today. Thank you for taking the time to share this podcast with other people. Thank you for telling your friends that they should record speak pipe messages. This is going to take the global community of moms of all ages, new moms, pregnant moms, grandmoms, great grandmoms, to have enough messages to keep us calm and mother on during this pandemic. We are better together. Thank you for helping. Here's today's tips. Make note of what kind of person you are. How do you fill your bucket back up? Do you fill it up by connecting with a good friend? Do you fill it up by scrolling social media? Do you fill it up by being outside or inside? It's really worth spending time thinking about what truly grounds you so that you can be more intentional about how you spend this precious spare minutes you get for yourself. Right now, it's tempting to treat everything like it's an emergency. Whether you're conserving toilet paper or rationing certain food supplies or wondering how you'll pay the bills this month, obsessively washing your hands and counters to protect against the virus, there's an underlying alarm to these behaviors. And it's super easy when we're interacting with each other or our children to transfer that anxiety to them. We might even transfer it to the education we're trying to give our kids. But there are no educational emergencies. In fact, learning isn't even urgent. It thrives under conditions of space, time, and a relaxed atmosphere. So during this high-stress season, I have a recommendation. Go slow to go fast. Now's the time you can actually spend a focused, devoted amount of attention on that one math problem that she can't figure out without requiring her to do the other 10 before soccer practice. Now's the time where you can do 10 minutes in the morning and nothing for the rest of the day and increase that over time. Remember, education isn't an emergency. You have time. Hi, everyone. Sam here from the Shift Lab. I'm a peer recovery specialist and yoga and meditation teacher sharing the tip of daily rituals for mental and physical wellness. One of the many things that Ayurveda, yoga's sister science, and one of the world's oldest medicine systems teaches us is Dinacharya, or alignment with daily routine. By creating consistent routine or rituals, we create a golden thread of daily awareness and attuning to oneself that provides an anchor point and supports closeness to our highest self, regardless of external circumstances. This ritual might be a daily walk, devotional time, creative expression, or social connection. When we cultivate faithfulness to our rituals of choice, we prioritize our own well-being in turn amplifying our ability to know what needs we have, how to meet those needs, and turn service back to others. If you're at a loss with where to start in beginning a daily ritual, look to activities that allow you to feel senses of groundedness, presence, and connection to your soul. If you would like support in adopting a daily rituals practice, reach out anytime at www.the-shift.com 
www.everydaymotherhood-lab.com. Thanks for listening on the Everyday Motherhood podcast. Hi guys, I'm Zara Fagan, PhD. I'm the author of Minimalist Homeschooling, and I'm here today to tell you how I'm keeping things simple during this time of crazy distraction and overwhelm and anxiety, and here is how I'm doing it. I either choose one thing that will bring me peace and make sure I do that first, or I think about one thing that each member of my family most needs and one thing they would most love, and I focus on getting those things done. Because if I can end the end of the day feeling like I've done what's most needed and what's most loved for myself and those around me, then I go to bed at night feeling like I didn't lose my day to complete distraction and overwhelm. So hopefully that helps you guys. I'd love to see more of you. I'm on Facebook as Zara PhD. I'm on YouTube as Zara PhD. I'm on Instagram as Zara PhD. And I blog at www.zaraphd.com. And I am wishing you all the simple things. Bye, guys. It is so important to get outside as often as you can for as long as you can. Nature is a natural reset when we're having a bad day. Nature, for me, allows me to forget about the news and all the scary things that are happening and focus on the beauty, especially the springtime beauty of the trees and the flowers. And it also helps to wear my kids out for nap time. Did that fill your cup up? It sure filled mine. Thank you for being here. And if you want to participate in this movement, check the show notes for the link. But really, you just need to go to www.speakpipe.com backslash everyday motherhood. And you can record your own 90 second message for all the moms of the world. Want to chat about today's tips? Go check out the Facebook group, Everyday Motherhood Fans. You'll need to know that I run every day to get in. Thank you, and I'm glad that you're